gonna be on Black TV. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to Blog TV. I'm the Flying Dutchman. Now, he's Pin. We have some breaking news on Blog TV. The difference in votes between Cesare and Sylvia on Singapore Idol was released today. Cesare won by 61% of the votes, which means Sylvia got 39%. Let's meet our guests very quickly. You know Sylvia, the person who did not win. You know Ken, the grumpy judge. We have Iskanda, who's the idol blogger. And we have Sam, who is a media student and blogger. Welcome to the show, everyone. Okay, let's start this off. How disappointed were you? Uh, I was a bit disappointed, but I guess it was quite expected because Cesare and, and me, we did perform our best. Yeah. And he did step up to the plate on, on the night. So, so you saying, thought that he was better than you? you? You're saying he was better than you on the night? Um, I said that we both like, you know, did our best, but he did shine on that night. Wow. No, okay. I should say she be he better than her. No, so basically you're <laughs> saying better than you. Lah. Okay. Ken, on that night. Were you surprised? Okay. No, that sounds pretty right. You reckon that? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was uh, something which uh, would happen that night, because I really didn't think that you did well. Well, the truth of the matter is, uh, he delivered. Yeah. Um, he was better than expected, and I think he is a deserving winner. Mm. Wow. We you know. You know what? If you expected this, then I have to ask you this right now. One of the questions that were coming into the to our shout box is, why didn't Ken smile? So everyone is seeing that wants you to know that. not happy. Like you're, you're really unhappy yeah. about it, man. Well, the thing is, have you ever seen me smile? Actually, I have in the car park outside the Bonavon TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, uh, I mean, you do not judge how or what I think, mm -hmm. you know, through my smile, because I don't think that's what I'm there for. Mm. I mean, it's for what I say that matters. Well, right? you no, know, it wasn't just you, because I watched it on TV as well, mm -hmm. and there was a shot of the three judges, and all three of you look very glum. Well, I, I think that's just totally taken out of context. You know, it's irrelevant. You, you shouldn't just take a shot and say, you know, why didn't you smile after the results was announced? But the mm. truth of the matter is there's got no association to the results. The question is, mm. were you happy with the result? Of course. Because, I mean, with all due respect to you, Sylvia, I mean, in any competition, it's based upon performance and support. I think in both areas, Cesare did well. Mm. Right? All he right. performed well and he got the majority votes. Well, if you guys have something to say about this, or if you have a question for Ken or Sylvia, please log on to our shout box, blogtv.sg, and let us know. We also have a poll running. The question is, if voting was compulsory, like general elections like it, if voting was compulsory and everyone could vote only once, who do you think would have won Singapore Idol? That's one for Cesare and two for Sylvia. Okay, it's, it's 7388, okay? That's where you can go. You can go to blogtv.sg and vote online as well, okay? Now, what's happened from, from Singapore Idol is we've got these amazing camps that have come out, okay? You've got camps um, like, for example, do not vote for Cesare. Cesare <laughs> is not the winner. Sylvia is our princess. <laughs> Singapore Idol is lame. Singapore Idol rejects. Multiracial judges for Singapore Idol group. What the hell is all of this about? This is what the internet was invented for. Internet. What's all this about, Mr. Blogger Man? I guess they're just not satisfied with the winner whatsoever. But to me, what I personally think is that Cesare really deserved to win for that night. He, it really shows on TV. And it's not only from my opinion. I ask people, my neighbours, my friends and whatsoever. Cesare did shine on the stage and own the stage at night. And as for the whole issues on why... It's all about people that didn't vote for Sylvia the night. They want Sylvia to win, but apparently they, didn't vote, vote, they didn't vote for her at all. Mm. So that's, that's what, what my opinion. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I, I think the entire, the entire uh, idol competition is just to you know, make lots of money. And you're not in the business of making everyone happy. Mm -hmm. You're in the business of making the money, getting oh, the I don't know to... about making money, but the truth of the matter is I think everyone is getting confused with the fact that Sylvia was consistent throughout the competition. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the judges have to place across remarks based upon that night's performance. Mm. And I have to say that she has got better performances throughout. Mm. But during the finals, you were judged based upon that performance and not throughout the competition. Get okay. that clear, yeah. you know? And if it's clear enough, I, I think it is obvious that Cesare did perform better than Sylvia. And that night happens to be Cesare's. I think when it, when it comes to voting, not a lot of it is based on, you know, who was better, but who you claim as your own? Who do you who do you support? And we had a we had a fan of yours. Yes. 
wrote in the blog TV and insulted FD. And well, it's, it's <laughs> because, okay, it's because uh, I, you see, after the whole competition, mm. uh, Cesare, you and you and Cesare came on the show, right? And I was immensely impressed with Cesare, his intelligence, his passion for music, and I stand by it. I think he should be working for a record company. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. day he should mm -hmm. end up working for a record he's company. He's savvy. Yeah. yeah, he's very savvy. Yeah. And I said he deserved to win. But JJ got up, JJ King got hold of it um, and said that... Uh, JJ King. JJ King. Oh, Who is JJ King? Told, one of my fans. <laughs> totally disagreed, said that I should have a wider view of talent. What? Talent? is talent not finished. Um, and uh, wrote in and said, Singapore is not ready for an idol contest. Nonsense. This fan of us says that basically Singapore does not have a voting culture yet. We don't have a voting yeah, culture. I, I agree with that. I, I think I disagree with Ken on, uh, in the sense that uh, we, we don't have the cultural competency to, 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 to celebrate an idol like, like, like we did in like the 70s and 80s when they're like strong personalities, just in uh, uh, the, These people who people will actually follow. And, and, and given our culture right now, we're exposed to so many different uh, media platforms and entertainment. Well, hang on, hang on. It's almost, it's almost, what do you mean by cultural saturated. competency? Because honestly, when Jacinta and Dick were doing Talent Time, they pretty much didn't show very much, you know... Uh, 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 Be careful, uh, Andy. Attitude. No, they didn't. <laughs> their attitudes and their personalities developed afterwards, Wait, not during the contest. Yeah, okay. See, the thing here is this. You cannot compare the talent shows then and now. There's always been controversies. Mm. There will always be preferences. I think the difference here is we're in the digital age. You know, it's easy to voice out your opinions, but that doesn't mean by doing those days there were actually agreements across the board. There's yeah. no such thing. You right? just couldn't hear the disagreements. Yes, yes. I think the fact of the matter is this is meant for the public to decide, and they have decided. So you have to have the common ground to accept it. But, they, but they are now saying that this is not representative of Singapore. And what is representative of Singapore? That's the question. That's the point. Right. I mean, it is it is a, a situation where you get to vote for whoever you, you prefer to win, and uh, if that person so happens to be otherwise, you will still have to endorse that result. Mm -hmm. You can't say that I'm not going to accept it because you know this is not my choice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, then that is not right. Well, they're also saying that it's not representative of Singapore because not all of Singapore voted. Then my question to you is: then that's your your yeah, your yeah. It's, it's a personal problem, situation. Dude. You exactly. didn't vote. want to see that. I yes, 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 yes. for a lot of people, they wanted a a female winner this time so maybe the media did create that hype and like you know like oh confirm there will be a but if, but if they wanted a female winner they would have voted for you right I think that's <laughs> you have also yeah. said that singapore is not ready for a female idol yeah that's what i thought at first that they would yeah. but uh, i guess when the result came um, you know, when did you start to realize that maybe singapore is not ready for a female idol uh, when the result came. <laughs> 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 Only <laughs> then! Okay. Is Singapore actually ready for an idol? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. That's uh, the regardless of gender. Idol, definitely a I, I need to stop you guys right here for a little while because we need to go for a commercial break. When oh, we come okay. back, however, we are going to be answering all your burning questions that you sent to Ken Lim. Oh, poor we'll fella. see you no after problem. the break. I really wish they wouldn't put the cameras on that early. Yeah. It's uh, the Flying Dutchman and Pin here on Blog TV. We're talking about Singapore Idol and the controversy that has happened around it. Um, oh, we've got a very special person on the yeah, line. You know, everyone's talking about why didn't Sylvia win? So we thought we will ask somebody else who didn't win. That's a good idea. Yes, another top five oh, Idol alumnus. We talked to Joachim Gomez. Hello, Joachim. Hello. Hello, welcome hello. to hello, welcome to Blog TV. Okay, question number one. The judges thought you couldn't okay. sing, okay? The judges thought you couldn't sing when okay. you were on the show. But still, you remained in the competition to the top five. Why do you think that happened? Okay. <clears throat> My opinion is Singapore Idol is a tea show. And it's a very judgmental show. I think uh, um, people would watch and they would want to see what qualities you have as a person. And whether do you have the X factor, or do you have the package, do you have something that they could they can relate to and do you have something that they like? So you're saying yeah. that you had something that they could relate to and you had something that they liked? I, I I'm very sure I'm very sure I do because from what I've heard uh, I I've appealed to a lot of family family oriented people. Aww. Okay. Yeah, but, and, uh, so, so would you say that it's more of a popularity contest than a singing competition? I, I don't 
Singapore, no, okay. For, uh, my opinion is it, everyone's going on about how uh, how Singapore Idol is not, uh, is not based on singing. If they want a singing show, why not just put it on radio? Yeah. You got a point, dude. Good point. Thank you very much, Joe Kim. Yeah, and Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It, it, it's a TV show. I'm going to hang up on you now because we're running out of time.